name is Jenny and welcome to my channel JK Star Elite Reader. So today I'm doing a Friday Reads. These are the books I want to get to this Friday and into the next week. So let's get to them. So May is Asian Heritage Month in Canada as well as Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month in the United States. I want to celebrate by taking part in the Asian Readathon hosted by Cindy at the booktube channel with Cindy. Uh, the first book I have to show you and I have a couple uh, in mind to read this month. I want to read as many books as possible but I know I have a limited amount of time. So the first book I have to show you it is The Birthday Girl by Melissa De La Cruz. I read one other book by this author and that was the start of a supernatural romance that took place in small town New England and so this is a little different from the book I, I read before. This is a bit of a mystery thriller that uh, takes place at a birthday party I guess. Uh, uh, a woman who is turning 40 and she is celebrating with a big uh, b uh, party and so uh, she seems to be having the best time of her life with a great career as well as a family life and so I something from her past is returning and tends to up in her life and so this will be a fairly quick read for me and a bit of a departure from the books I'm used to reading from this author although uh, truthfully I've only read only one book and so I uh, look forward to reading this book finally. I found it one time when I was at the supermarket and so it'll be a light breezy read I think with a bit of danger as this uh, as this cover suggests. So one of the challenges of the readathon is to read a book about a woman who is uh, not typically portrayed because of her age in uh, mainstream media and so the birthday girl uh, the birthday party um, the birthday girl um, uh, qualifies uh, an, uh, for that challenge and so the next book I have to show you it is 300 poems from the Tang Dynasty and so this is a, a book of uh, 300 poems from the Tang Dynasty and there are they uh, they don't so the there are no um, actual authors attached to these poems as far as I can tell but uh, these are the typical fare for uh, Chinese language learners when they are young and I went to Chinese school in uh, my North American city every weekend uh, when I was young up to when I was in junior high. While I stopped uh, going to Chinese school when I was in junior high I was able to retain a great deal of the information from the time I was in Chinese school and so I can read um, Cantonese and a bit of Mandarin fairly well. <coughs> but I still need the practice and time to improve uh, uh, my, lang uh, my reading comprehension of the Chinese language and so I hopefully I will be able to uh, delve further into this volume of poetry from the Tang Dynasty and so I read uh, I guess a couple of uh, poems from this book and I made effort to uh, learn the different um, uh, the meaning of the different poems and characters by writing them out in uh, with uh, clear free ink uh, but it is a slow process and I know it'll take me some time to read this volume but I consider it to be a great challenge for uh, the month of May as it is uh, Asian Heritage Month. So uh, the next few books I have to show you and it is part of my mini haul and some of the books can be considered uh, contenders for Asian Heritage Month or for the Asian Readathon. 
And so the uh, first of these books is Starling Days by Rowan Hassel Buchanan. So I was able to get a copy of this book through uh, a local independent bookstore and I've been meaning to get to the second book by this author. I read uh, her other book earlier this year that was called Harmless Like Me or Harmless Like You. And so uh, so now I have the, the second book by this author and so I look forward to reading it. And so I'll, it seems to be a, a bit of a complicated story but I want to uh, share with you a bit of what it says on the back. So it says, Mina is staring over the edge of the George Washington Bridge when a patrol car drives up. She tries to convince the officers she is not about to jump but they don't believe her. Her husband, Oscar, is called to pick her up. Oscar hopes that leaving New York City for a few months will give Mina the space to heal, so they move to London. Mina, a classicist, works on her book about mythological women and searches for solutions to her failing mental health by pondering their lives. The, I guess the lives of women from classical Greek times, so Penelope, Psyche, Leila, and so yeah, that uh, while I am fairly interested in uh, learning more about this uh, woman, Mina, as she delves into the world of classical Greek literature, uh, I myself am uh, fairly interested in that subject, so it'll be interesting to read uh, this book further as it looks at art, storytelling, and life, as well as mental health. So another book in my mini haul, and this is uh, The Sin Star Salon. So this is by Leia Renata, and is published by what would be considered, I guess, a local press, although not situated in my own city, but uh, another city in my province. And so uh, this is a book also by a Filipino author and it is about a Philippine-born Vancouverite Sophia who is most grateful for two things, her modest salon and Adrian, her mild-mannered fiancé. She is eager to get married and move up away from her highly educated but career-frustrated parents who believe their daughter can be so much more than a beautician. So yeah, that's a, another book in my mini haul that can be a contender for an Asian readathon. So I'd like to uh, say that I am fully stocked and ready for the readathon uh, where, however, wherever that takes me in reading. So I have one more in this uh, mini haul portion of the video and that is the box set by Holly, Cra Holly Black of the the Fair the Folk of Fair Air box set by Holly Black. So I, I actually uh, purchased this uh, box set um, t in anticipation of the release of her new book, The Book of Night, I believe that's the title of her new book. And I believe I will be receiving that book in the uh, in May. But uh, while that is making its way to me, I have this box set that I look forward to reading as well. Alright, that is it for this video. Thanks for listening, and I'll talk to you again next time. Bye!